are live from Miami-Dade. It's Saturday morning for the first mental health walk ever in Miami-Dade. And I'm Kathy Coppola, the executive director, and I'm so happy you're all with us today. And we're gonna introduce to you first our board and staff before we get going. So I'm gonna have Susan Racher, our president, and Sean Krasravi, our vice president, our treasurer somewhere back here, Maria, our secretary, Vanessa, and our board members, Reverend Walter T. Richardson, where else, Ted Franklin, <laughs> Patricia Aris Romero, and Lieutenant Patrick Calvo, there we go with the sign. Um, we also have our staff here today, Estefania Placencia, our youth program coordinator, Kate Edelson, our outreach director, and Celia Morales, our adult program coordinator. So now that you've met our staff and board, I'm gonna introduce you to our MC, Sandra Viktorova. And Sandra is a producer and a reporter here in South Florida, and her work has appeared on PBS, NBC, and Telemundo. And new to Sandra, she's just done a documentary on youth mental health. She is a great NAMI fan and champion for mental health. Sandra, take it away. All right. Hello, South Florida. Are you guys ready for today? Yay. All right. Well, welcome, South Florida. We applaud you. We thank you. We thank you for all your support today. And we welcome you very much to the very first walk for mental health here in Miami-Dade County. And of course, your big host today is NAMI Miami-Dade. So let's hear it for NAMI Miami-Dade. And of course, uh, we should mention that of course, NAMI Miami-Dade is a local affiliate for NAMI across the country, which is the National Alliance for Mental Illness. And for those of you who don't know, this is the largest mental health volunteer organization in the entire U.S. So today we're gonna walk, we're gonna stand, we're gonna celebrate with folks across the country we literally have at least 40 states who are participating with us today, from California to the Carolinas, all in support of mental health. And of course, the timing for this couldn't be better to, to raise awareness, to fundraise, because we know this has been a really difficult year for all of us. Uh, and we also know that NAMI Miami Date has been such a big supporter, bringing uh, access to so many people who really do need it. And of course, the message for today is that our entire community, our entire country, that we want you to know that it is okay to ask for help and that mental wellness is absolutely paramount, right? Oh, yes. yeah. So we're gonna go across South Florida today. We're gonna go from South Beach to Little Haiti to see what everyone else is doing, how they're honoring and celebrating today. So let's begin. Are you guys ready? Yeah. No, 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 that wasn't good enough. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, well, the odds are that you or someone you know is actually suffering in silence. And I will say that I learned that firsthand when I started my documentary film on young people who are in high school trying to balance the pressures of high school, trying to get into college, trying to get into top colleges. I didn't realize how much it affected so many young people. Half of the students that I started interviewing talked about their struggles with mental health. Uh, fortunately, the group that we focused on um, took the time to ask for help had the strength to ask for help. They turned to parents, they turned to schools, saying, I need help. So they were able to recognize it. So we applaud them, we honor them. You can see a little sneak peek of that on the NAMI website and on the Facebook page. So we invite you to do that. So one of the very special young people uh, who is really making an effort to make sure that people don't suffer in silence, especially young people, is a wonderful lady by the name of Estefania Plasencia. Estefania, come join me over here. She, yeah. Yeah. Estefania is NAMI Miami's youth coordinator. She directs their signature program, Ending the Silence, which is aimed at teens and their families. So Estefania, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. And thank first of all, I want to welcome everyone to the very first mental health walk of Miami-Dade. Yay! Yay! And in Spanish, Bienvenidos a todos a la primera caminata por la salud mental de Miami-Dade. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 
Hermione, I, I'm going to give you this mic, but I want you to basically explain, you know, what do you want teens, young people to know, as well as their families, about getting help? Sure. I want families and youth people to know that it is very important to bring mental health into the conversation. Talking to youth about it, it's, uh, it's going to help us change the way we look at mental health and also we hope that the work and the messaging around it is going to help lift this conversation Absolutely. yes thank you so much estefania for thank your you. for all your hard work <laughs> and one thing i thought we should mention the other reason we're all celebrating here here at dante facel park and we're all smiling is because we are together we are starting to beat covid we are all vaccinated that's why you don't see the mask but we are happy about that right all right so now we are going to take you to South Beach. Leading her walk team is NAMI Miami board member and second vice president, Dr. Anna Schustak, a professor of social work at FIU and Simmons College. going to hear from another of the NAMI walk teams that is Siegel Trials, a premier sponsor. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for that. We so appreciate you. We appreciate you, Susan. I want to make I'm sure that we say thank you. Thanks. for all that you do because I know that um, you're working hard today but you do this every day so I, I want you to know how much the community appreciates you and the work that you do thank you you know I I became a NAMI volunteer and ultimately its president because NAMI helped me and our family and helps the hundreds of thousands of people um, across the country and we in five years ago this May a group of us restarted NAMI Miami and we're so excited to have our first walk, to have the support of mayors throughout the county, our county mayor Daniela Levine Cava, who you will hear from later, as well as sponsors, donors, and organizations that have partnered with us. Mental health is really essential. Recent numbers indicate that one out of two people has found their mental health deteriorated um, this year because of COVID. And we want everybody to know that NAMI Miami is there for you. So thank you very much for this opportunity to say no, that. No, thank you, Susan, for all that you do. And now it's time to go to Little Haiti. We are going to welcome NAMI Miami board member and youth and family counselor Daphne Michelle with St. Law Neighborhood Center and Leonie Hermiton, who is the St. Law Director of Development and Planning. Welcome, ladies. I, I am Daphne and I represent NAMI as part of the board and we are walking today because we know the importance of mental health and the importance of spreading the word in the community. Nom c'est Daphne, et puis marche ça pour Nami, c'est pour éduquer l'importance santé mentale dans communauté à communauté haïtienne. And this is Leonie who will be doing a tour around the Haiti and its artwork and its wonderful history. Okay, let's go. 
Daphne and Leone. It looks like so much fun. Thank you so much, ladies, for all of your support. And now it's time for a little bit of star power. If you are a fan of Burn Notice, The Tudors, or Once Upon a Time, you're going to recognize our next actress and wellness advocate. This is Gabrielle Anwar. NAMI Miami is grateful for her support and friendship. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Mental wholeness and health are vital for you and your families. Part of mental wellness is being tuned into your feelings and your family members' feelings and being free to talk about them openly and honestly. And part of mental wellness is knowing when you need help and support. I want you to know about NAMI Miami, an organization that is helping to end the silence about mental health and provides mental wellness education and support with programming that is free and open to everyone. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, NAMI Miami is hosting Miami-Dade County's first walk for mental health called NAMI <laughs> Walks Your Way on May 22nd. This is a hybrid event nationally where teams will participate by walking or doing activities they choose and viewing what others are doing in Miami and nationally online with social media. Also watch as NAMI Miami and our county light up the Miami skyline green the color of mental health. Join me and many others as we participate in NAMI Miami Walks Your Way. Go to NAMIMiami.org to join this terrific event. Join me in helping NAMI Miami achieve its mission of mental health for all. All right, Gabrielle Anwar, we thank you for your support. Well, Kathy and Susan, I want to thank you again. The community thanks you for all your hard work. Um, I want people to understand the folks who are at home, they want to do something, they're thinking about donating or maybe even participating next year if they didn't get a chance to do it this year. What is your message as far as donations? Where does that money go? How does it serve the community? First of all, thank you for the question. It's not too late to donate. Go to NAMIMiami.org and you too can join this amazing walk. We are a lean, mean, efficient organization. I wanna take this moment to reflect five years ago, three organizations, United Way of Miami-Dade, South Florida, Behavioral Health Network, now known as Thriving Mind, and Health Foundation of South Florida, believed in our vision and believed in our strategy to bring NAMI national programs, evidence-based programs that have helped millions of people in the U.S., bring them to Miami-Dade. On a mere $80,000, we rebooted and restarted NAMI Miami-Dade to a point now where we have staff, we have 10 support groups a week, we have programs that are evidence-based and evidence-informed in the school systems, and we ask our donors to continue to support us. We invest your funds well. 100% of what you, what you provide to NAMI Miami goes to support our programs and our outreach to the community. Our programs are peer-based, which means that people with lived experience are directing and, and facilitating our programs under very strict training guidelines from NAMI National. So we ask for your support and donations. We survive and thrive 100% on grants and donations. NAMIMiami.org, help us grow the organization. In a couple minutes, Kathy will review our programs and we will talk about the vision for NAMI Miami. It's a big vision and it's one that our county really needs. All right, so Kathy, you wanna tackle that? Let's sure. Let's talk about Tell us, for folks who have never heard of NAMI before, this might be their first time, you know, who are you and what exactly do you do? Sure. So who are we? We're you. We're all of us that you've seen together and we're your friends and your families, people you haven't met yet because we want you to get involved with your NAMI here in Miami or wherever you're listening to us, there's a NAMI near you that has the same programs because we're trained nationally and all of the programs are going to be the same. They're going to be run the same. And so you can be sure that whatever you get here, you're going to get somewhere else. 
So our mission is to support, educate, and advocate for those who are affected by mental health challenges and their families. And when I say families, I mean friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, the people who care about you and who care about mental health. And NAMI is different. We are not clinicians. We are not medical organization and we're not a medical organization now our board and our staff and our volunteers may in fact be clinicians and they may be medical but that's not what makes them NAMI what makes them NAMI is that they have that lived experience they are someone who has a mental health issue they are maybe in recovery and their family members so I believe Susan may have mentioned that they're evidence-based so you can be sure that someone has uh, who is a sorry a universities clinicians clinical trials have reviewed our programs and they work and they continue to work so we have a number of programs we have the support groups when COVID came through we transitioned all our programs to Zoom. But don't you worry, we're gonna be back in person when it's safe to do so. So um, we have wellness webinars, we have family programs, educations. We are just about to start a what's called peer-to-peer -peer education program. It's an eight session, 16 hour class on Zoom make sure you call us and get your loved one or yourself into that program and you can go to namimiami.org and find out more we've also helped to start the first we do a lot of firsts around here <laughs> we, we um, helped to start the first mental health advocacy coalition in miami dade in the keys and our program or that group works with nami florida's advocacy program and so the NAMIs across Florida have banded together to work to let you know what mental health legislation needs to be addressed. And that can include the um, 988 mental crisis line, which you may have heard about. Um, every state has to adopt it, even though it's adopted nationally. Insurance parity, so many problems with insurance parity uh, for mental health and also the County Behavioral Task Force. So those are just a couple of things that we're looking into. And as Susan said, in the last five years, when we restarted NAMI, um, all at our kitchen tables, we've grown thanks to our board members, thanks to our volunteers, and we've grown a hundred times over. And it's because of you, our NAMI family, and the people in Miami-Dade. Um, the outpouring of support for the walk has been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Um, and in fact, it's a hybrid walk. So can you imagine what we're going to do together next year? That's right. um, it just shows how Miami is resilient and cares about mental wellness. So um, I've only, we've only touched lightly upon our programs. So go to our website, NamiMiami.org, call us. Um, register for NAMI 101, which is a Zoom meeting, which we go in depth, uh, where you can ask questions, uh, pointed questions about our programs and about what we're doing. And you'll get uh, detailed answers from us. So thank you for um, being with us today, and I'll put it back to Sandra. All right, actually, I think it's your turn now to thank our wonderful sponsors. Sure, I'd like to share with you the vision of why we're here and why we prize and, and value sponsored dollars. We are, our amazing, very hardworking and dedicated board has approved a strategic plan that results in expansion in people, in places, and in programs. You met Fanny, our wonderful Ending the Silence coordinator and director. We want to scale up that program. It's impactful, it's compelling, it's a program for teens and college students and their parents in Miami-Dade Public Schools. And we want to reach every child before they go to college or leave high school to be exposed to the information and education. We want segmented support groups for the LGBTQ community, for the BIPOC community, for maternity and postpartum community. We want to expand in the Keys. The Keys is underserved clinically, uh, 
at, for mental health dramatically. We want to expand in the Keys and have built partnerships. We want to add people to be able to coordinate and grow. So we have a vision. Your dollars are critical to achieving that vision. I want to thank our sponsors and the people who have brought this to be such a successful walk for us for our inaugural walk. Our presenting sponsor, Seminole Hard Rock Casino and Hotels. Can I use you as an example? Our wonderful <laughs> sponsors. <laughs> Whoa. Key Biscayne, our, our presenting sponsors, Key Biscayne Community Foundation and Siegel Trials. Our gold sponsors, the University of Miami, U Health, and Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Science, very, very important partners to us. Citrus Health, Stone Harbor, Newburger Bourbon, and you got to stand straighter. <laughs> and oh, last but not least, important partners, the Children's Trust. Thank you very much for what you've done for us over the last five years and what you'll continue to do for us. And now we'd like to share some video about our sponsors. Eagle Trials, we thank you so very much for your support today and every day. Well, our next guest is also a champion of NAMI Miami-Dade. Daniela Levine Cava is the first female mayor of Miami-Dade County. She has dedicated her career to advocate for our community and for individuals living with mental health and other challenges. And she again is a champion of our team. So we welcome her to our program. Hello everyone, I'm here at Miami-Dade's first ever Mental Health Walk and I want to thank all the residents of our county for supporting mental health awareness and the National Alliance on Mental Health during Mental Health Awareness Month. If you're struggling with anxiety, depression, or other mental health issues, please visit NAMI, N-A-M-I, Miami.org or call 211. You can also go to thrivingmind.org for referrals to mental health services and support. And if you're experiencing a mental health crisis, please immediately call 911 to seek a trained mental health emergency intervention. Together we can fight the stigma, provide support, educate the public, and advocate for policies that will support people with mental illness and their families. Mayor Levine Cava, we thank you so very much for all of your support. We also thank you for putting our, our county in the color green, which is the color of mental awareness, mental uh, health. Mm -hmm. And tell us about, there are a couple of buildings that, right? Is it the right, Freedom Government Tower? Center, the Courthouse, Freedom Tower. Thank you, Miami-Dade County. Thank you, Daniela Levine Cava, Susan Holtzman, Maria Levrant, and the whole team. Um, other cities and villages followed your lead. 
and throughout the county now, different municipalities from, from South Miami uh, to Palmetto Bay to North Miami are, are lit green to tell people it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to talk about mental health. Absolutely, it is. Ready for a little bit of entertainment now, Susan? Yes. Okay. Well, we are now going to bring you two amazing musicians, two wonderful guys, which you know well, right, Susan? One of them is my son. That's right. <laughs> That's Matt Racher and Carlos Lalauri, also known as the band called Fog Dog. Carlos is a NAMI Miami and NAMI National Board member, a nurse practitioner, a NOVA law student at University of Michigan. What doesn't he do? Matt is an outreach counselor at the University of Miami Idea Needle Exchange Program and studying for his master in social work. So let's take it away, guys. Good evening, everybody. My name is Matthew Racher, and I just want to say I walk with NAMI Miami because NAMI Miami represents an organization that allows people like me living with a mental health condition um, to have a safe, stigma-free place to share my experiences and learn from other peers. Good evening, everyone. My name is Carlos, and I'm walking for NAMI Miami because NAMI Miami is a place where I can feel valued and dignified as a person living with a mental health condition. And I thought in honor of NAMI Walks, NAMI Miami Walks, we would do a little piece of one of our songs called Hold On. So here it goes. very much and thank you NAMI Miami for all the support, education and advocacy efforts. Thank you. Welcome back South Florida. Are you guys having fun yet? Yeah. Well we are super happy to have one of our premier sponsors with us today, a community leader and definitely a champion of NAMI Miami Dade. Uh, Melissa White is executive director of the Key Biscayne Community Foundation. Uh, many of you know their great work. They advance philanthropy and grant making to support nonprofits throughout Miami-Dade County and beyond. Thank you for being here Thank with you. us. Proud to be here. Um, Key Biscayne Community Foundation is a proud supporter. Uh, NAMI Walks is, is more important than ever after a long year of pandemic and it's important to reach out to family, friends, make sure your loved ones are okay after a, a difficult year. And thank you. Proud to be here. Thank, thank you for all you. your support. Thank we appreciate you very that. Much. Thank you. Woo. Woo. 
Well, earlier you heard a bit about the Ending the Silence program. Now let's meet one of our Ending the Silence presenters. That's Mecca McCain, who is a student at the University of Miami. And Me Mecca uh, is certainly doing an incredible job. Hi, my name is Mecca McCain, and I am a young adult presenter for NAMI Miami. So a little bit about me, um, I've been diagnosed with anxiety and depression and when I was in middle school I was diagnosed with an eating disorder um, so my mental health journey I'm in college now so my mental health journey has been going on for a few years now since I was in middle school so I think NAMI is great for the community because it brings awareness to mental health issues and helps break the stigma around it which is part of why I'm so thankful to work with them and to share my story with others I think it's really important that the more conversations we have um, about topics, taboo topics like mental health, um, the less stigma there is around it and the more people feel comfortable coming forward about their own stories. So that's why I think NAMI is super important for the community. It's why I'm so grateful to work with them and share my story. If I can reach out to someone out there, if they can connect with my story in any way, I think we're helping break the stigma around mental health and mental illness. Well, welcome back everyone. And now we go to a very special guest. He was the city of Miami's fire chief, then Miami-Dade commissioner, mayor of Miami-Dade County, and now a member of the U.S. House of Representatives of Florida's 26th congressional district. We welcome Congressman Carlos Jimenez. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and it is especially important that we acknowledge mental wellness following this very difficult year for us, our families, and our community. An important part of mental wellness is knowing when you need help and support and where to find help. In recognition of Mental Health Awareness Month, NAMI Miami-Dade, our local affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, has launched Miami-Dade County's first Walk for Mental Health called NAMI Walk Your Way on May 22nd, preceded by a week of fantastic programming. I want you to know about NAMI Miami. It's an organization that is helping to end the silence about mental health and provides mental wellness education and support with programming that is free and open to everybody. And I would like to thank NAMI Miami-Dade on behalf of our community for the great work that you do in supporting, educating, and giving voice to individuals with mental health challenges and their families. So one of the incredible jewels in Miami-Dade County is the New World Symphony. If you've ever heard them, I'm sure you know how amazing they are. And in fact, some call this symphony America's Orchestral Academy. And of course, we all know that music is essential for mental health. So we think our next guest is just perfect for today. Her name is Leah Stevens. She's a flutist for the New World Symphony. Symphony, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Leah Stevens and I am a professional flutist with the New World Symphony in Miami Beach. Over the last 20 years, I have found great joy in playing music. It allows me to express myself in ways that would otherwise be impossible for me. But even with that joy, in pursuit of a professional career in this industry, I and many other musicians have suffered from feelings of anxiety over performances, worthlessness in the many hours of our daily practice, and even abuse at the hands of our mentors who are just trying to push us to be better. Even with these isolated incidents, they can often spiral into something that's more lasting. I luckily have had the privilege to afford access to therapists, psychiatrists, and the resources to do my research and figure out my diagnoses, but many people don't. That's what makes NAMI so important to the Miami-Dade community. With your support, we can end the stigma surrounding mental illness and give everyone the resources and help that they need. The Mental Health Walk and the funds raised by you will go a long way towards achieving this goal. Now to end this on a happier note, I find solace in solo flute music, especially from the Baroque period and I wanted to play for you a snippet of the Telemann Fantasia number no. 9 in E major. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Leah. What an amazing performance. So much talent here today. Unbelievable. Especially your son. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Matt and Carlos. I love you. All right. And it's time to thank the sponsors one last time. First of all, I want to thank you, Sandra. You gave up your Saturday morning to support mental health, to get the message to our community that the work that we do and the conversation about mental health is important. Thank you so very much. Thank you for all that you do. Thank, thank you. you. Bravo. I want to thank our teams, 98 and counting. Folks, my goal is 100. Two teams, please sign up between now and tonight. 98 teams have come out today in all four corners of the county to proclaim that mental health is important. Thank you to all. We are so thrilled to have the captain of our team that has raised the most funding, Christina Tamer. Thank you. Thank you. We are so glad that you moved here and that you're part of our family now. I want to recognize again our sponsors. Without your support, this walk would not have been a success. I want to recognize the Seminole Hard Rock Casino and Hotel, the Guitar Hotel. I want to recognize, as our presenting sponsor, I want to recognize Siegel Trials and Key Biscayne Community Foundation, our presenting, our premier sponsors, excuse me. And I think the Siegel Trials folks are here somewhere. They're walking. No, they had to. They were, walking, they're, yep. they were walking with us. Thank you very much. I'd like to recognize our gold sponsors. Citrus Health, Children's Trust, the University of Miami U Health and Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences. This <laughs> Kathy doing a demo. Stone Harbor Investment Partners, Newberger Berman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to give a thank you to our amazing NAMI Miami-Dade staff, Celia, Fanny, Kate, our leader, Kathy Coppola, um, for the amazing work they, that they do every single day uh, to help our families. It's not too late to donate, NAMIMiami.org. We thank everybody who is part of this walk and particularly our elected officials, Congressman Jimenez, Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, Mayor Sally Phillips of South Miami, who you'll hear from tonight, Mayor Joe Corradino of Pinecrest, who you'll hear from tonight, our wonderful City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, tune in tonight, Karen Cunningham, Mayor of Palmetto Bay. All will be with us tonight. 8 p.m. in front of City Hall. We have a huge surprise for you. So tune in and between now and 8 p.m., go to our page, NAMIMiami.org, if you need help or information or if you wish to donate. Thank you, Vic and, and Lewis and Manny and, the, and Jonathan back at the studio. Bravo. And thank you to our board and to our community that came out in throngs and support. It's been a wonderful day. See you next year in person. No COVID, we'll be together. And we're hoping to be in Museum Park next year. So we will now start our walk. We're gonna start the walk. Thank you. On behalf of everyone here and all of you out there who we are going to see next year, I cut the ribbon to start the first annual mental health walk here in Miami-Dade.